Let us pause in life's pleasures and count its many tears while we all sup sorrow with the poor. There's a song that will linger forever in our ears. Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis a song, the sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. Oh, hard times come again no more. So the army returned to Washington to the banks of the river whose name and fame it bore, flowing in darkness past them as from dream to dream. And it must be that by such things as we have seen and done and suffered, a step is taken in the homeward march of man. Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis a sigh that is wafted Tis a along sigh the troubled way. Tis a wail that is heard upon Tis the shore. Tis a wail that is heard upon the shore. I could smell the ham cooking and the coffee. It made me hungry, clean down to my toes. After doing full justice to the breakfast, I took off the old army blue and put on the citizen clothes. Went down to the sawmill, filed the saw, fired up the old sawmill, and made the sawdust fly. And I would do it again. They should ask for 300,000 more. Oh, hard times come again no more. Tis a dirge that is murmured around the lonely grave. Oh, hard times come again no more. We must believe that our Heavenly Father permits this war for some wise purpose of his own, mysterious and unknown to us. And though we cannot comprehend it, yet we cannot but believe that he who makes the world still governs it. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, hard times come again no more. While we seek mirth and beauty and music light and gay, there are frail forms fainting at the door. Fainting at the door, though their voices are silent, their pleading looks will say, Oh, hard times come again no more. I purchased my tickets via railroad, but I did not wait for the stage, but we started on foot. The next day I found my daughter grown to womanhood, and I turned my face to the north again. My daughter, her husband and child coming with me. Three times since I made the same journey, bringing back with me and all 16 of my relatives. To our old master, I was glad to find you wanted us to come back to live with you again. We've concluded to test your sincerity by asking you to send our wages for the time we served you. With interest, our earnings would amount to $11,680. Say howdy to George Carter. Mm. And thank him for taking the pistol from you when you were shooting at me. Your former servants, Hannibal and Cassandra Drumright. Tis the song, the sigh of the weary. Hard times, hard times, come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my cabin door. 